Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Sean from The Good Fight. I decided to make a series of videos just showing you guys kind of what goes on behind the scenes during the post-production process of The Good Fight, uh, specifically visual effects. Um, so if you're an amateur filmmaker, somebody interested in creating their, uh, their own web series or short film, maybe you'll learn something from this. If, uh, if you're just an avid movie watcher and you have some interest in what goes on behind the scenes, maybe you'll also enjoy this. Um, but I, I didn't have any experience going into uh, uh, making the good fight um, with visual effects. I had zero. I had to learn this just sort of as I went, um, and I think you've seen them get better and better. Uh, I certainly have, because I go back and watch season one and think, what a fool. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the first visual effect that we used in... Um, in season two of the good fight and it is uh this scene here obviously when ryan goes to uh to kelly's gravestone um and we shot this at a cemetery here in chicago um i went and found the uh the newest gravestone that i could find and we shot the back of it so that there was no uh a writing on it that doesn't mean that there weren't any uh any other obstructions though as you can see it's a, it's a rather glossy gravestone as I scrub through this footage you can see uh, the reflection of Ryan's jacket right here uh, and that was gonna create some problems for us so that was the first thing I needed to uh, take care of and the the second thing obviously was to add the uh, the graphics of uh, his name his, his birthday his death and all that stuff so the first thing I did was I found a frame within the footage that um, showed the entirety or at least most of the uh, face of the gravestone. This was obviously not going to work because his shoulder would, have, would obscure uh, part of the area that I needed to work on. So I, uh, I found a frame uh, similar to this one and I took it over to um, uh, Photoshop. Um, and obviously that reflection is still there that was priority number one. So pretty simple fix, just find another area uh, of the face of the gravestone that doesn't have any reflections. Um, just kind of cut it out and move it over, which is what this first layer is here. I'll toggle it on and off and you can kind of see what that's doing. Uh, now with that removed, the rest was a, a pretty straightforward process. If you have uh, experience in Photoshop, you'll kind of recognize what's going on here with these layers. Um, and you'll also note that I don't have much experience in Photoshop because it's not great, but it'll do. Um, and that was uh, eventually the, uh, the final product. It was as simple as basically adding uh, the text, um, some, some graphics, uh, bevel and emboss, and some different blending modes, and moving, it for, moving that frame back into this program here, which is, of course, Adobe After Effects, where I do the bulk of my uh, visual effects. It's a simple overlay, right? Simple as that. Except he moves in front of it at the beginning of this scene. So that needed to be taken care of. And that was uh, a bit of a painstaking process known as rotoscoping. If you have any experience uh, doing... Uh, visual effects, you'll know that that is the bane of our existence. Um, it's essentially going frame by frame and masking out the areas that you want in or want uh, excluded from the, the, the final product that you're working on. Uh, so you can see here, basically each one of these dots needed to be moved in and out to create a mask to eventually reveal itself. Uh, so that was it. That was basically the uh, the first visual effect uh, that we did for season two. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be coming out with more of these um, uh, videos. So hopefully you guys like them. Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.